Of course, one of the major problems that we face in all this is the fact that most people simply don't have the time to investigate any of this stuff. They don't have time to really take the rose-coloured glasses off and look at the world the way it needs to be looked at. They don't really have time to analyse the situations that they live in. They're so busy trying to pay the rent, put food on the table, look after the kids and maintain their job, whatever it is. They just don't have time to ever wonder why their life is that way at all. You know, so many people are caught up in suburban situations, in really bad situations. They're just working constantly. They're trying to get by and they never, ever stop to think why it's such a struggle. Why it ever has to be this way at all? Why they can't just put it all down and go and do something else? I'm sure they've got kids and they feel a certain responsibility, but all of these things are cooked up and contrived. You know, you think, oh no, I've got the kids, they've got to have the latest this and the latest that, I've got to get them a good education, they've got to have an iPhone, they've got to have new uniforms and all this sort of stuff. All the stuff that they make you do to put your kids through school, you know, you've got to put them in uniforms and give them all this stuff and all these books and all these things. It's all about turning them into little clones and draining you of your resources and preventing you from ever experiencing yourself or really ever having time to look around you. That's what the whole modern Western work ethic is all designed to do, and just to give you something to do to prevent you from really looking around. I mean, look at what we do with our work most of the time. Most of the jobs that we're in are completely meaningless. We're just, what, serving people food in restaurants or working at a cafe or working in a supermarket or moving paper around in an office building, something like that. Although we don't really move paper around anymore, now we do that electronically. We just electronically move paper around, we sign things in triplicate and do all this stuff which doesn't really mean anything at all. It's all just designed to keep the human race busy. That's why we make everything to break. Not just to support the economic model so that you can keep buying tyres for your car and keep getting parts fixed on it. It's also to create mechanics, give people something to do, put stop and go signs everywhere, create all these mechanisms that slow us down and make us walk between lines and make us pay to be alive and keep us busy by whatever means possible. And that's one of the greatest tools of control they have as well, the whole fact that they keep us busy and so many people are not prepared to just put it all down and walk away. And sometimes those who do get to a point in life where they just want to do that, I find that things change very dramatically when they do. You know, very often people find themselves trapped in this system and they don't see that the way out is actually within themselves. That's what this whole experience has been about. That's what it's all about, is finding that which is in yourself. Finding that spark of you that exists within you. And so many people have lost that. We measure ourselves up to all these different parameters and all these different models and all these different things we think we should be, but we miss out on us. We miss out on that spark of you that is you, that experience that you came here to have. What is that? It's there somewhere in the back of your mind if you can search. It was there when you were a child. I'm sure it was. There'd be something there, some reason. Didn't you think you were special when you were a child? Didn't you think there was a reason for you to be here? You weren't just randomly born? That you came here to do something? This was a special place, a special time, and you had a special reason for being here. I think every child feels that at some stage. And what if it's true? What if it's true? Because I would suggest that it is. I would suggest that you do have a special reason to be here. We all do. And that special reason is to experience you, to experience us, for me to experience me to the fullest of my potential, to find out what I am and what I can do with this experience. And everything about this reality, this society, prevents us from ever doing that. And the simple fact of the matter is that all we have to do is choose to walk away because the entire construct that keeps us here is just fiction. It's just a meme. It's just based on the idea that this is what we have to do. Even government. Government's just an idea. Government doesn't really exist. It's not this thing that can come and eat you. It's just this building that people go to and they do what it says in the books. They believe in the written word and the book says that they have to do this, so they do it because it's the law, because it's written in a book. Well, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's not natural law. It doesn't serve anybody. It doesn't help anybody. I mean, sure, we need laws. We need laws to prevent people from committing crimes. But where does crime come from? Most crime comes because people are in a state of scarcity or they're in a state where they're completely disconnected from themselves, both which are a result of this society, a result of this legislation, a result of the financial system, this entire meme that we've allowed to be constructed around us. So perhaps we should address that. And that makes a little bit more sense to me than what we're doing. You know, like there's no real remedy ever going to be found within this system because the entire system is fiction. The entire system is designed to lead us away from who and what we are. 
That's what it's for. That's what it's always been for. And that's why we will never find any remedy, not in any movement, not in any legal action that we try to take, not in anything. I mean, and all the time I've suggested action of going, doing this and doing that and going and speaking to politicians or going to see the local council or speaking to school teachers or whatever. All I'm trying to do is create a spark of empowerment in people just to say, go and talk to these people because all they are is people. I don't expect you to ever get any results or ever to, to be able to bring about any change, but I'm hoping to inspire the confidence in you to know that you have as much worth and value as anyone, regardless of what position they hold, regardless of whether they're wearing a uniform, regardless of whether they're sitting behind a desk in an office or anything. We all have as much value as anybody else. And there's no reason for us to think that we don't. And there's no reason for us to be scared to go and talk to our employees. Because that's what these people are. They are all our employees. The government are your employees. The politicians are your employees. The police are your employees. You know, but ultimately we need to step above the whole thing and to realize what the fiction is that, that controls us because all of it is fiction. You know, the entire legal system is not based on what is right and what is wrong. It's not based on good and bad behavior. It's based on points of law, which is usually bound out through corporate law, which is usually done to promote the continuation of this system to afford remedy to politicians and banksters and those at the top of the food chain or those who consider themselves to be at the top of the food chain that they have created, but not to afford any remedy to us. It's only there to tie us up in red tape and to sometimes afford us little modicums of remedy if we get too close to the truth. It's there to give us some form of appeasement in some cases and to set some example and to instill into the minds of the public the belief that the system does actually work and the legal system actually is functional where nothing could be further from the truth. So we're not going to find any remedy there. The only place we're going to find remedy is in our hearts, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that I've been saying since the very beginning, since I started these shows back in 2008. And it'd be very interesting for you if you are a new listener and you were to go back and listen to the show since 2008 and see the massive amount of changes that I've made in the way I even view this situation, the way I view what controls us. And I've gone down so many different avenues. I've tried to reach so many different people. I've tried to reach new age people, I've tried to reach political people, I've tried to speak in every single different type of language I can find to try to break that spell and to crack that little shell in people. And it's been an interesting journey. It's been an interesting journey so far getting to this point and seeing how close we are to the end game actually coming online because the system really has revealed itself now. I think everybody really does know what's going on help by spreading this message share with your friends leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already turn on notifications to stay updated